hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube is once again your host. Uh, it seems like the merry-go-round in Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party, the Citizens Coalition for Change, Triple C, led by advocate Nelson Chamisa, is not yet over, or it's far, far, far from being over. You will remember that it began a few weeks ago when a man called Sengezo Chabango popped up from nowhere from the wilderness and wrote to the Speaker of Parliament, uh, Advocate Jacob Mutenda, stating that he was recalling certain people who had been elected into different uh, positions in the name of the party that is 23 altogether, including nine members of the National House of Assembly and some senators as well as some councillors who had been elected in the name of Triple C. So he recalled them. And while many still thought that uh, maybe the Speaker of Parliament would fight that off, the recalls went ahead and they were effected. Then President Emerson Nangakwa declared the 7th of November as the day on which the nomination court would sit, as well as 9 December as the date on which the by-elections will be held. The recalled members of parliament led by being a North member of parliament, uh, Prince Dubego Sibanda, went to court. They took uh, Chabango to court. That matter was heard by the Harare High Court uh last week and the judgment was that um the court upheld the recalls it upheld the recalls meaning that the by-elections were to go ahead and the nomination court set uh yesterday that is tuesday as was declared by the president and we saw triple c fielding uh Num members of parliament and council candidates uh, in a number of constituencies but they failed to field uh, in Mavuku Tavara except that is the Chabang led Triple C failed to field in Mavuku Tavara although Kufa uh, Agutizu Muranyarazi who had won that seat and had been recalled by Chabang uh, contested there he filtered his name there submitted his nomination papers successfully where he's going to meet once again uh, Scott Sapwanya of ZANU-PF whom he defeated in the August election. So in a number of other constituencies including that is mainly in Matepeleland and Bulawayo, we saw Triple C fielding double candidates with some of them uh, signed for Pai Chaba when the others signed for for, for by advocate Nelson Chamisa's mainstream triple C, which means effectively that the party is now split into two, or without saying that it's split, it seems that there are some people who are now picky pecking on the name of triple C, who claim that they were uh, initially sidelined by the party, but we are told that Chabang failed to get the buy-in of some members of triple C who had submitted their names initially and were allegedly sidelined by Nelson Chamisa. These didn't turn up, those, especially those who were said to have come tops uh, in the earlier round of nominations were later on allegedly sidelined. So it means that those that Chabang ended up getting are only those who uh, are fighting on his side and those that were sidelined but are still loyal to Nelson and Chamisa are still not part uh, of the new uh, triple C that Chabang seems to be uh, fronting. So what has happened now is that even after the nomination court has set, um, the fight is not over. And we are told here that uh, those who were recalled have now appealed at the Supreme Court of Appeal. They've taken their matter there to try and have the earlier judgment by the Alarare um, high court uh, set aside. So what this effectively means is that uh, the appeal 
suspends the decision of the High Court. And now this is what we have uh, been told by members of the party who are within Triple C, although we haven't yet uh, been given a confirmation of this court matter by the party itself. Uh, Kift Ostalo Siziba, who is the deputy spokesperson of the party nationally, has indeed confirmed that this has happened and he even wrote on the microblocking site X where he said we have not had an appeal in the Supreme Court against the High Court ruling on the fraudulent recall of the people's representatives. The effect of the appeal is that it suspends the decision of the High Court. Our position remains unchanged and unwavering. Sengezo Chawangu is neither our member nor interim secretary general because such position does not exist in our movement. So what should be noted is that although the court, that is the Arari High Court, upheld or uh, turned away the Triple C members were led by Tubego Sibanda in their attempt to have their recalls rescinded. It did not rule that Chavango is the Secretary General of Triple C, whether substantively or on an interim basis. Such a ruling or such a determination has not yet been done. So there is no court ruling which has declared Chavango the interim Secretary General of the party. What the court ruled is that. Uh, the recalls cannot uh, be resigned unless and until there is evidence uh, that warrants such. So, so far, uh, the indictment that had been done by Prince Tubego Spanda and others against Chabang is the one that failed, not the determination on whether or not he is indeed Triple C Interim Secretary General. So the members that have, so the court has been filed at the Supreme Court uh, at Harare and the matter uh, is being uh, appealed by, that is the High Court judgment is being appealed by Prince Dubego Sibanda as the first appellant followed by in this order Bright Vanyamoyo, Veliswe Nkomo, Jasmine Toffa, Stavile Mlilo, Pasho Rafael Sibanda, Nicola Jane Watson, Eric Kono, Evidence Sunungurai Zana, Moken Nube, Opet Manduna, Jeneth Dube, Desmond Makaza, Fabian Munyarazi, Kufa Hagotizi. So it's 14 of them versus Sengezo Chabangu, Speaker of National Assembly and the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. So this is where we are right now. We have spoken to Gift Ostalo Sisiba, and as we have said, he has, of course, confirmed that such a, an appeal has been made, but uh, we sent him questions after he agreed that he's going to respond to them. So we are waiting for his response, and we're going to share it with you should it come anytime soon. So this is where we are. The saga is far from being over, and an appeal has been made, but you'll also remember that all these 14 uh, previously elected members of parliament in Triple C uh, ticket have also gone to the nomination court uh, as a contingency plan in the case that, or in the event that uh, their appeal fails. So they've all successfully filed their names uh, in the nominate their papers in the nomination court, which means should this appeal fail, they are going to stand in the subsequent by-elections on the 9th of December. And they are doing it under Triple C ticket. So we don't know what is going to happen in the case that, or in the event that they win, because they are highly expected to win back those seats but will they not be recalled again we saw one of them that is a councillor uh, in bulawayo that is um the former deputy mayor of bulawayo by the name donaldson mabuto saying that if they are recalled again in the event that they win they will still go back and contest under triple c and they are saying that the state should be the one worried of wasting the taxpayers money funding this illegitimate uh, issue of recall so this is where we are right now an appeal has been made by triple c uh, candidates or triple c uh, mps who were recalled by chabang because they say that it's an illegal uh, recall and that the court supported an illegality so they are now appealing this at 
the Supreme Court of Appeal. We don't know as yet when the court is going to sit, but this is where we stand right now, and we expect uh, a response from Gift Ostalos Suziba, which we're going to share with you as soon as it comes. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.